Often the first step in making a map is finding a sweet, sweet data table that you can join to your geographic shapes. FIPS stands for Federal Information Processing Standards, and it's a way of creating a unique numeric text attribute for every geographic entity all the way down. For example, states and state equivalents are listed alphabetically, and then each is given a unique two-character code. Each geographic unit has its own code. Counties have a three-character code. And you can string these codes together to make unique IDs for nested geographic features. For example, Alabama is 01, Watauga County is 001, and when you stitch them together, there's a unique geo ID. Now, if you've ever used Microsoft Excel in your data sleuthing and pre-processing cleanup, you've noticed its incredible zeal to trim off leading zeros. It will guaranteed turn 01 into 1 and 001 into 1 because it thinks these are numbers, but they're not numbers. They're numeric text. Many a tear has been shed by my fellow data wranglers and myself because of this. I'll show you how to force Excel to treat this as text, which they really are. Here's the very cool home value index that Zillow Research makes available. And this table, which is a CSV table, has FIPS codes for state and county. Here's that data in trusty old notepad. And we can see that Zillow left the leading zeros on these IDs, which is perfect. But if you open it in Excel, oh no, you can see that the FIPS codes are there but they're being formatted as numbers. You can tell because they're right aligned. Leading zeros have been trimmed off. <sighs> ah, it's all right. Pull down our formatting goggles and go diving. I'm going to insert two new columns and call them state and county. And now I'll force its format to be text instead of number by entering a formula called text, choosing my number, and then in the second place, giving it how many values I want it to have. Zero, zero in quotes. So a six turns into zero, six, which rules. Yes, now it's text. Now it's got leading zeros. That's just what we want. I'll do the same thing for county. Equals text, click on my value, quotes, zero, 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 because I want three places. Enter. And then I just flood fill down by double clicking that green thing in the corner. Okay, now I need to string these two text fields together. Give it some name, could have called it GOID, and I'll use concatenate, concat. I'll type in concat, and then I'll click one cell, comma, the next cell. There we go. Now I have a GOID with leading zeros in both places, strung together into one glorious, glorious attribute. And while we're here, see how these column headers begin with a zero? Most databases hate that. I'll just go into the formatting and change it to any kind of date format that starts with a letter. It makes life a lot easier later on. Well, have fun in your data adventures and FIPS fixing.